He's been uh, proper fizzled out. He looks like he's actually going to set the cunt on fire, look. <laughs> he's got a petrol car. So you guys saw a poll on Instagram. If you didn't, then sorry about that. But we do a lot of polls on Instagram to see what they, what you guys. Uh... We do a poll on Instagram and we do it on the community page. If you remember, if you've been an OG from back in the day, then you'll remember that we did kind of a flipping series. Now it didn't really have much structure to it, did it? No. So people loved that series. Like they absolutely loved that series. So we put that to vote. And then it came back with like a thousand votes as yes and like 15 as no, if you was no, fuck you. This is the start of the flipping series. And the process of this is, so we're going to start off with 500 pounds. The 500 pounds is then gonna get progressed to 10,000 pound by the means of flipping cars. So the 500 to 10,000 pound flipping series is about to start. What do we do with the 10,000 pound after you may ask? Well, <laughs> so, What's going to happen with that is we're going to pick a car, or what, a selection of cars, three or four cars um, that we're going to want to buy after as a project. We're then going to put that to a vote to you guys um, and then we're going to buy that car. And then what we're going to do with the mods, Joe? It's up to you lot. Exactly. So you guys are going to be able to choose. So we'll have certain sections. So we'll have like a straight through exhaust. Uh, screen exhaust or just something like that we'll have different options for you guys to vote um, and you will be able to vote for the most popular and then that is what we're going to put on the car so without further ado we are actually already jumping into this so let's try and find a flipping car let's buy it as cheap as possible let's undercut some people <laughs> get some good deals and we're going to fix them sell them for that profit you're going to see on the screen how much we've spent for everything so you're going to be up to date to the penny of how much we've made and how much we have lost because it's not always a case of actually gaining money so straight away fucking hell <laughs> you all right fucking jeez anyway excuse the lines on the screen because for some reason the camera thinks we're in a swimming pool right We've got this Skoda. It is a 1.2. It is 350 pounds. I don't know if you can see. There we go. You can kind of see that without the camera bugging out. But it's only done 78,000 miles. It says it's got a light on the dash. So obviously, me being me, we've messaged the guy. So it looks fairly clean everywhere else. Um, it's MOT does run out on the 19th of December, which we're going to sort out. Aren't we? Yes. We're going to get it a fresh new Mott and uh, <laughs> <laughs> get that thing sold. But again, we might not even get this car, so let's carry on. Let's see what else we can come across. We are obviously looking... Don't go back to my personal Facebook. So we are obviously looking um, in the market and we're looking at how much cars are actually worth. So Facebook Marketplace seems to be where it's at. Now, if you if you remember, car prices have actually gone up lately. Which is not a good thing for us. <laughs> so, it kind of is a good thing for us, but it, at the same time, we need to make sure we're buying the right sack of shit. Because if we buy a proper sack of shit, we're going to be in the shit. If you fucking ask for any citron saxos, I'm not going to be happy. Okay, the citron saxo. So, quick quick story right here. Jack's first car was a citron saxo. He had a flame kit on it, it was scraping and it got beached and it was baby shit green. That's actually a true story. Anyway. I have no picture, so do not ask. I do. Fuck off. Uh, Why would you pay that for a mini? Never mind. How much? 350 quid. <laughs> <laughs> but a lot of these, though, look, it's all 350 quid for the mini. I mean, this guy has been properly fucking guzzled out. It looks like he's guzzled. Fizzled. He's been uh, proper fizzled out. It looks like he's actually going to set the cunt on fire, look. <laughs> he's got a petrol car. It's Although really it is stop. a diesel, it is a diesel, so, you know. That's it. He can't be filling it up with that petrol can. <laughs> Unless that's the reason it's broke. But anyway, a lot of them say that they're breaking. Um, so this is what we've got to be careful of. We don't want something that is actually breaking, we want something that's actually functional. With the power of editing and such, you should be able to see the screen a lot better now, because we've upped the quality. So, 
We've got a few cars here, so we've got a 2000 and, well, 2000 Ford Focus. Apparently, Ford Focus um, 1.8 petrol, funds and drive, short MOT, 350. So, I mean, it's a potential. It's a potential. So, um, we've got a Zafira at 400 pound. Oh, spares and repairs. So, that's shocking. Uh, what else we got? What else do we have? Peugeot 206 with a fucking sunroof. Don't mind if I do. Uh, so that's 450. Uh, engine starts with head gasket replacement. Uh. Right, so what we've got to also weigh into effect is the fact that some of these cars may actually be worth it in the sense of once we've replaced the head gasket, you have to think we don't pay labour, we just pay for the parts. It, it may be a two grand car, so that car, for example, uh, the Peugeot 206, probably not, but once it's actually fixed, it may be a two grand car, so that may be a good grand profit for us. So we're gonna have to look into all this um, and see exactly what's going off. Now, I have messaged a few people about their cars, like this Polo right here. Um, again, spares on repairs though. God damn it. But we've messaged a couple of people quite a few people we're going to see who gets back to us if anybody does and hopefully we can either try and visit a car by the end of this uh, or have one lined up to go and visit so you will see that the process is kicking in we are starting we are wanting to push forward as quick as we can with this series and get this ten thousand pound from 500 pounds these videos really don't happen overnight so we're next on the next morning and we have had one reply out of all the messages that we actually uh, messaged or all the people that we messaged which not great um, so but it was one car that we did look at um, we're gonna try and see if we can go and take a look at it I replied to him straight away as soon as he messaged back and I am yet to receive a reply again so I think we're gonna go around in circles with this one but we'll keep you updated as we go along we need to find a flip car so we can progress on this series We had absolutely no reply from that guy, which is absolutely fantastic. This is, seems to be what Facebook Marketplace is like. Somebody will post something, you'll message something, and then you won't get no response. So look at the screen now, we found some other cars. Now here, we found this bad boy. This is a 2004 Renault Clio. It's got bonnet vents for that extra power. Now it needs a right side brake caliper, uh, and will be fine, comes with new set of brake discs and pads had loads of work done this past year so he's got that up for 500 pound it's 1.4 it says it's 100 horsepower it's nippy for what it is um if we look at that there it's got some sick green green um yellow car mats oh look at that i keep this now <laughs> oh that looks like a beast oh he's even cut the bumper out though and he's got to show the exhaust system right there. He's got to show it. Um, <laughs> look at that beast. <laughs> Shall we do this one? Shall we do, <laughs> Shall we do that one? Um, right, I'll send them a message. Just just why not? Um, this guy buys Toyota Corollas, so that's not very good. Uh, hopefully this screen thing's a lot better so you can see what we're actually looking at. This is actually proving to be very difficult to find a car. We've got a uh, 3 Series BMW here. Let's have a look what we've got when it loads. Thank you. New. Uh, that's full front end. Just needs fitting back. Oh, I'm guessing it. Oh. 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 Needs finishing off. Gearbox fitting, wiring up. I've no time due to selling it, completed the build, we'll be looking at 2500 for it. 500 pounds sell as it is. So basically he's asking for 2500 if the car's finished, or 500 pounds if you buy it now. But you just put the front end back on and put the gearbox on yourself and get 2500 for it, I'm pretty sure. Right, so what we're gonna do is we're going to look at this Peugeot again. We're going back to Peugeot. We're going back to the Peugeot. Um, and cars cheap as it is, don't bother if you're going to offer less than £400, but you've got it up for 450 
<laughs> okay, uh, so 400 pound no offers. Oh, it's only got 60,000 miles though. That's actually pretty good. That's that's pretty good. That is quite cheap. We'll send these guys a message as well and see where that's kicking. Um, Ford Transit, that has seen better days. That has really seen better days. I've got all these still open at the top as well, by the way, on the tab, so I'm not forgetting which ones we've actually looked at. Austin Metro. <laughs> yeah, that is fucked. That one's not, though. Oh, transit vans break. This is the thing you've got to be careful of. A lot of people are just breaking them. So, Mark 1, Metro, again. You are. You are. Look at all that. It's Bugs Life 3 on that, bad boy. Anyway, let's carry on. That's easier. Is it? Yeah. Customers here. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this video short here. I'm going to message all these people. We're going to get a car lined up for the next video. So apologise that it's been in the office for this one. But this is what we've got to do, unfortunately. We've got to hunt for that car. We're going to have to do this quite a lot. And it doesn't happen very easy with Facebook Marketplace if we've ever used it. So next video, we're going to reveal a car. Guess what it is. I want to hear your comments down below. I want to see likes. I want to see subscriptions. I want to see people with a bell notification because this is actually going to be a seriously good series. And at the end of it, like I said, we're going to buy some sort of sick car to do as a project with you guys. So make sure you're getting involved in that. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.